Alright, g'day folks, welcome to Custom Chopper. I think we're vlog number, vlog number, vlog, I don't know what vlog number we are. 30, 20, 40, or something, doesn't matter. That's not the important part. We're off today to go interview an amazing woman by the name of Billy, who's about to go ride. She's traveling from Australia over to America to do Route 66 on the Harley. So we're going to check her out, find out her story, and go for a nice ride today to Jerry's Cafe, I think it is. It's a brilliant day. It's going to be super busy up there. Hope that hope you can hear me better with that. Anyway, let's get on the bike. G'day folks, welcome back to, or welcome to Custom Chopper, considering, depending on whether you've been here before or not. Straight off the bat, I'm going to apologise for the audio. We're at a place called Pie in the Sky in Sydney, Australia, just north of Sydney. And uh, I'll do some behind the scenes shot, which I'll drop in later in the video, but there's hundreds of bikes. It's really a really popular bike place to come for a pie and some awesome windy roads in the background. So that's what all the noise is. It's a good noise. But, more to the point, we're here with the wonderful and lovely. Introduce oh. yourself, lovely. <laughs> I'm Billy. Hi. <laughs> we're here with the lovely Billy. We're going to talk today. It's part of our series on why I ride and my ride. And situated behind us is it's my Billy's bike. ride. <laughs> so just tell us briefly, just a little bit about what she is. Is she a girl? She is. She's well, girl. like she's undecided. Yep. I guess, yes, I'm going to make a reference to her as a she. She? Um, a okay. Honda Rebel 500. And I've only had her for around 12 months. Um, prior to that, I was riding a Kawasaki that was too tall and too heavy for me. So I've downsized. And, and she's lovely to ride. Much easier. Much easier. So. You're still getting to know each other. It's been just yeah. under a year now you've, yeah. you've had her. Yeah. And is it what year model? Is it brand new or she you buy it? No, she's a couple of years old. I bought her from a guy who had his L's and he bought it new. Yep. He'd had it in his garage for two years and it had, I think, 300 Ks on it. And wow. it's now got nearly 4,000. So you've been doing some riding? Yes, I have. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. And now the bike before, you said it was a Kawasaki? Yeah, W800. Right. Yeah. And you prefer the cruise bike sort of style? Uh, no, I miss my Kawasaki. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I miss my Kawasaki. It was, um, I feel like I went from a Bentley to a Corolla. No offence, love you. But um, nothing wrong with the Corolla, but it's not a Bentley. <laughs> No, <laughs> but it was different. just too big for me, too big, and I dropped it on my foot and crushed my foot, and so just decided I need to downsize. Very cool. Yeah. I must say the Rebels are—they're a nice-looking bike. Just behind Billy's bike is mine, which is a Harley Iron 1200, 
very similar in styling. And I know the Rebels go up to a larger capacity. They're, um, they're a great bike, especially for an entry-level bike, the 500 mm. and that sort of stuff. Very easy to ride. How do you find it power-wise? Has enough there for you, the 500? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I don't know if you can see it in shot, folks, but we've got uh, a sissy bar at the back. Mm. And you've had that custom made? That was custom made, and, and it's um, not so much for having people riding on the back as it is for strapping luggage. So my intention is to do lots of um, trips away, and I'd hate riding with a backpack, and so I just, the sissy bar is good for strapping the luggage too, basically. Speaking of doing um, journeys, we were talking off camera before about bucket lists. One yeah. of mine is the Great Ocean Road. Uh, I do a lot of touring on my sportster. Mm. I want to do Great Ocean Road and Tasmania. You are thinking about, well actually let's go back, during the yeah. pandemic you actually had yeah. some big yeah. rides planned. Yeah, yeah, so um, a girlfriend and I, we were still on our peas at the time that we were planning it, had found out about an all chick biker festival in Berlin um, called the Petrolettes. Berlin, and, Germany. Oh my God, and it looked so awesome. Yep. So our plan was to fly into Paris and then we were meeting up with a bunch of um, uh, French bike chicks and then hire some bikes and ride to Berlin and do this awesome festival. And then COVID hit. So everything had to be parked. Yep. Uh, literally, and now I'm in the throes of planning a trip to um, the US to do Route 66. The big so, 66, yeah. that would be awesome, that yeah. would be awesome. So what's the game plan, you'd hire a bike Yeah, hire there? a bike, so yep. um, land in LA, there's um, a, a great group of girls over there who ride bikes and they're called, um, God I'm hopeless at remembering their name, a quest for I told you. Do you remember what it is? No, because I'm hopeful. Tribe hopeful. called Quest, <laughs> sure a quest or a quest I'll, called I'll, Tribe. <laughs> yeah, but they're great. That's a dot, it. Yeah. There's, a dot, there's a dot in between. It's an yeah. awesome looking profile. I'll link and yeah. drop their uh, link to their Instagram profile in the description below. And yeah. they're primarily focused on female uh, yeah, rider oh, groups. Yep, yep. And they've yep. got a real sense of pilgrimage for the ride. So. Basically, you can land in LA, and from my understanding is they'll set everything up for you, the um, bike hire and all that, and then you, you head off in all manner of different directions, have this great trip with these chicks, and it and it's, um, has a spiritual reflective process to it as well, so I just love that. I love the idea of that. So I could sort of launch into Route 66 from there. Yep. And um, yeah, Route 66, actually, it's not a, um, a continuous road anymore. It's all quite fragmented, yep. but it skirts along some really cool places. So Vegas, um, goes past Vegas, so you can sort of do a little detour. And I quite fancy the idea of fanging it down the, the main <laughs> street on, on of the main Vegas. Strip. Yep. Yeah. And then um, also Santa Fe and Louisiana. So there's a whole heap of... Um, great towns and cities on that path or just off to the side of it and then uh, leave the bike at the end which is in Chicago and then fly into New York for some um, kicking the heels up. And Sounds awesome. Yeah. Is there a particular bike or have you got to that point the particular bike you would like to use for that ride? Do you have something in mind or is well, that still you're still ticking around? I mean that? ideally I would ride be able to hire the bike that I'm riding now, but these are not hard, not easy to hire over there because yep. Harley's are the US bike. So um, it, maybe if I was riding there and back, I could hire a Honda Rebel, but I think if I just want to do one way, no, I'm going to have to do a Harley. Harley. Yeah, 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 so I'll just um, have a couple of practice runs leading into it. Yeah. Just letting the guys turn their engines off, cool. No, that would be awesome. That's uh, that's definitely on my bucket list as well. Yeah. Shout out to all those people in the States. Uh, tips and tricks you've got for riding Route 66. Any ideas? Yes. Uh, Hit some me up. <laughs> places to look at that we should put on the list of the tour. Please drop them in the comments below. And I'll also link Billy's and mine social media uh, as well so you can DM us directly. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah. Um, a lot of this series that we're working on that I'm doing for this channel is based around what people ride and also why they ride. So I know we've had a long conversation off camera kind of about mm. it for, for both of us from our perspective. For me, it's a lot to do with um, 
positive mental health. I think as you get to this stage in life, I'm 53 and you're... 58. 58. You can't help having hit a few speed bumps along the way, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So for me, riding is really an awesome part of um, mental health and therapy. And for me, the happiest place I have has been on the back of my bike in the middle of nowhere on some open highway and just riding by myself. I find that to be an extremely peaceful place to be. What about you? What's what? attracted you to riding? How long have yeah. you been riding? What's, give us I a bit of a background. Yeah, so I haven't been riding for long, but I've been on the back of bikes for a long time. So, you know, I'm one of five daughters, and my mm -hmm. dad wrote, used to ride a little, I think it was 150 Honda or something, And um, but he was never okay with any of us riding, but we're okay to be on the back of bikes. And, um, and that, that was okay. I actually loved being on the back of a bike because I'm a bit of a control freak. So it was nice to be forced into a position where you have to surrender and trust that someone else has got it together. So it was, to me, it was a really um, very, yeah, a, a practice in, in surrender and meditation and I just loved it. And then about, I think it was about four years ago, I just thought, you know what, why have I not got my bike licence? So I was sort of noticing, seeing a whole heap more chicks on bikes and thinking, why do I not have a bike licence? So yep, yep. I went off and did my L's and um, oh my god I'm just kicking myself I didn't start sooner and that's why I'm just like I'm sucking it up and doing as much as I can while I can I want to do the really big trips and and um, and it's really for me it's a process of um, I was saying to you before I'm, I'm a um, counsellor yep. and I often talk to people you know hard times come to everyone Yep. Um, at, you know, to different degrees over the course of our life. And um, if we're running on a full love tank and feeling resource, we can, we can cope with the blows a lot better. And part of uh, growing and evolving as a human being is having a better understanding of what fills up your love tank. Yep. And oh my God, this riding, like I can, I'll empty one tank and fill up the other in the one day and then that's I'm bubbling over by the end of it and I've got more than enough for me and enough for all my clients and and friends and yeah so that's an awesome way of putting it you have to bear with us it's probably a bit of background quite a bit of background noise big group of guys just pulled up just off camera there we just let them trot past Harley riders, yeah, noisy. <laughs> nah, but seriously, um, that's a, that's a really cool way of putting it—the love tank, so to speak. Mm. Now, I talk about like putting a smile on my dial and um, yeah. you know, refreshing things and that sort of stuff. Mm. So, yeah, that's a really good way of way of looking at it from yeah. from this side of things. So, Route 66 is maybe on the map. That's um, that's something you're looking at next. Yeah. We're going to do a, a walk around in a second. We'll have a quick look at uh, Billy's bike and where we're at. And I'll show you some of the background footage and all the noise the boys and girls have been making. But before we go, um, I've noticed that on this channel and our platform, customchopper.com.au, and we're releasing a mag soon and stuff, I would estimate I'm getting probably around about a 50% viewership that are actually female riders. And I've noticed that increasing a lot. Is that something you found? What's yeah, your experience being yeah, a female rider? Yeah, yeah. and stuff? I love it. I love it. I just, you know, I grew up in the era where girls were actively discouraged from surfing and, and riding right. skateboards and riding motorbikes and, you know, like it just wasn't an option. Yep. So for me now, um, you know, riding the bike and seeing other chicks on bikes, I just get so excited. And I'm, and there's a really lovely culture. Like, you know, women are really inclusive. And like, I, I feel like I'm responsible for at least getting four of my girlfriends awesome. into riding bikes. That's good. And I keep saying, you know, we're getting up together, we're getting matching jackets, you know? Getting <laughs> hang together. <laughs> That's so cool. How do you find, um, do you find, I'm interested, how do guys, react to you riding? I haven't had a negative experience, yeah, yeah, so it's um, guys riding, like it's, they're really supportive and encouraging, 
Um, I one of my favourite things to do, which is a, you know, a bit naughty, but it is um, fanging it at the lights and racing everyone. Yep. And it's hilarious because you do see it's the young fellas in the in the cars get really pissed off, and it, <laughs> God, I do enjoy that. <laughs> But there's one for Billy. Yeah, yeah. but it's. It, I think I was saying to you before. There's something about moving through the world as um, a, a woman who's five foot two, mm -hmm. who does not identify as physically strong, and then all of a sudden you're on a bike that just can just take off so quickly, and it's got such a good grunty sound, and it just feels so powerful. So I'm really, I almost feel like I'm getting a hit of testosterone every time I go for a ride, and it's a, so it's great. Adrenaline, it's, adrenaline, yeah, yeah. Gen, adrenaline, adrenaline, I get this right, yeah. adrenaline rush in there that yeah. pumps you through. Yeah. yeah, I totally, totally can relate to that. Yeah. Um, I must say, for the record, 99 point, actually 100% of all the guys that I've interacted with via this channel and stuff, are super supportive and everyone says the same thing it's so good to see more and more women coming yeah. up and riding and going out and coming riding with us yeah, so yeah it's great. really nice to see on that level. and it feels like that it does feel like that it does yeah, it yeah. totally does yeah. so we're going to do a quick walk around billy's bike and the minute i'll no in a minute i'll sign out now for now but uh give us a thumbs up if you like this video please hit that subscribe button it helps support the channel I'll drop the links to our socials down below. But most of all, safe riding. And Billy, thank you so much for coming yeah. in today, love. Welcome. <laughs> Stay safe, kids. All right, so this is our official walk around with Billy. And have you got a name for her? No, well, you, you know, no. Rebel. No. Rebel, I'm coming around you. <laughs> Rebel's a good name. So make a model. So it's a Honda Rebel, so I'm a bit lazy. Uh, 500. Yep. And it's a you know great little bike. I put some modifications on it. So I did put these on. Yep, um, I'll just swing around to get a better shot. Yeah, yep. because the last bike I dropped on my foot and I thought this might be a little bit of a buffer if that happens again. Yep. And also I put the sissy bar on, which Sweet. I had custom made um, by this awesome guy in Surrey Hills. Can you lift your helmet up and give us a good look yeah. at that? That's really cool. Yeah. Because so I, was, I was quite fascinated because it's got that support beam at the back. Yeah. And that was a custom build. Yeah. I just yeah. come around. So that is predominantly for luggage to be strapped to. Yep. And, you know, basically you could, you could have luggage there and someone can still sit on the back yeah. there. Yeah, and that's a good yeah. back support actually yeah. for somebody yeah. else. No, this shit looks nice. And how many Ks have you put um, up on it? Almost 4,000. Yep. And you're going to take her on any big rides in Australia? Any plans? Oh yeah, That'd definitely. That's the plan. So yep. I haven't got I haven't got any. I want to go to Byron, so I've got loads of friends in Byron. Yep. And I'd break that up into two days. But yep. um, yeah, that's definitely on the cards. Hopefully within the next couple of months. So for our overseas viewers, Sydney to Byron Bay would be about nine hours. About nine hours, yeah. probably about 900 k's. Yeah. About 700 like miles, yeah, just roughly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, that's it. Thanks very much again, Billy. Like I said, give us a thumbs up. If you like the video, hit that subscribe button. It helps support the channel. Most of all, safe riding and enjoy the day out there on the road. Take care, folks. Say bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Be bye. Safe.